everyone, it's Malka again. Welcome back to my channel. So today video, I want to show you guys how to take care of your investment. And by investment, I meant your beautiful handbag. So if you would like to know how I take care of my handbags and cleaning it and storing it, then please keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get to the video sitting down today and I was trying to go through my handbags and see which one need a bit cleaning up because every now and then I go through my bags and just cleaning up conditioning it whatsoever so I found this one that's a bit dirty because I haven't been taking good care of it so I was in the process of cleaning it thinking about it but then I'm like why not make a video about it so here I am so these this bag right here is um, a Safiano leather, which is a bit easier to clean compared to a smooth leather. Almost every one of my handbags that I currently own is Safiano leather, thank God, because this is more resistant to scratch. So yeah, that's the one I have. Now I'm going to try to show you guys the close up when I do clean this so you can see the result right away when I show it. So in order to take care of this little bad boy right here I have two items that I want to mention. This one right here this is the Kate Spade leather cleaner and the second one is the leather conditioner. These are the two products that I use to clean and take care of my handbag and you can find this at the website kidsbait.com I'll have the link down below if you guys want to check that out I don't remember if they still have these in stock but the last time I checked they were still in stock but you also can go to your late, um, <laughs> your local Kate Spade store to pick this two up now you don't really have to just get the Kate Spade leather cleaner and leather conditioner you can get other brands but these are the two that I have because since most of my handbags are Kate Spade so I thought it would be easier to just get the Kate Spade products because it probably worked better with my Kate Spade handbag so these are the two products that I want to do I want to mention so normally when I first got the bag I do either one or two step so one I use it right away and don't do anything about it or two I can conditioning the back first so then it just add a layer of protection before I use it so for example for like a lighter color back it's easier to get a um, transfer a color from your jeans to your back especially if it's a crossbody back so in order to kind of prevent that or make sure that the um, transfer a color come out easier you do want to add like a layer of conditioner on the top of your handbag before you use it so that's like add like one layer of protection for that so it, once you're conditioning it and then when you use it it still get dirty now that's when the cleanser come to play this one right here is the leather cleanser and like I said you can get this from Kate Spade so I'll be sharing you I'll just show you guys how I clean this bag right here. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Um, my handbags is already have a few marks on it. So that and I have some marks right down here. I don't know if you can see right there. Just a few, few small marks here and there. That, that. So before you use any cleaning product, you want to make sure that you read the direction first. So there's a, a direction in here. They say they recommend you to do a spot test before you clean your product. So I already did the spot test and I know this is good. It doesn't really, um, really affect my handbag because sometimes when you don't do spot test, it can leave your handbag a bit patchy in term of color and can ruin your handbag so you want to do a spot test first so after you've done a spot test it's say to apply a small amount into a clean cloth so right here I just have like some kind of scrap t-shirt that I have and I'm just gonna 
apply a small amount like so and I'm gonna go ahead and plus place that on right here so that one right there and then they say to do a circular motion when you do that voila all the marks is gone alright so I'm gonna repeat the step to this spot right here and maybe this spot right here gonna move on to the conditioning part the conditioner that I'm using like I said this is from Kate Spade again I'll so make sure that you read the instruction carefully before you do anything this one is say to apply literally over a soft cloth and let dry and buff lightly t-shirt like my scrap t-shirt and then apply a small amount of this um, conditioner on it body's hair everywhere All right <laughs> that's not small amount at all so like that and then you want to apply it all over your leather So now what I'm gonna do is wait for it to dry I'm just, and I'll be right back. Once it's dry, I let it sit for like a few minutes and now it's dry so I'm just gonna really lightly buff it off with the clean cloth. I don't know like it's so hard but you can't really see the difference except it looks a bit cleaner probably and maybe shinier but the con the qu like the feeling of the bags a bit smoother and more softer because the conditioner really soften up the leather and it does look like it's cleaner and yeah so that's that so now I'm going to zoom back out and talk a little bit more about this all right so once you're done cleaning, conditioning it, you have two choice of how you want to store your handbag. Um, one is you using, you can store it in the dust bag that they provided. This one is when you buy any leather good from Kate Spade um, specialty store, they give you a dust bag with your handbags. There's only a few bags that do not come with the dust bags. Um, but almost every leather handbag come with a dust bag and they used to give away dust bag in the outlet store also but I believe um, they're cutting that off they do not provide any more dust bag which I think it's a bit crazy because even if you buy the handbag from the outlet store those handbags are not cheap anyway so you should be able to protect your investment but I don't know why they don't give away any more dust bag. That just that just crazy. That's blew my mind. But anyway, so you can store it in this dust bag right here, which I don't do. <laughs> I am a naughty, so I don't store them in the dust bag. I store them up in my closet, um, like on the top shelf of my closet, or right here, as you can see, some of them. I have my Hayden right here and my Tori and my flower pot which is also Kate and yeah I store them I store all my bags in a shelf where I can see it and I want my bags to be on display now I know the reason why they give you a dust bag so you can prevent some kind of like fading and prevent heat like overheating because you do want to store them in like a cooler um, environment so the color will stay true and it still look nice and shiny but I do want to see all my handbags so when I 
get dressed I know how many handbags I have so A I don't get tempted to buy new bags B I know how to dress I know to coordinate my handbags if I haven't used that handbag in a while so I can see how many handbags I have I think it's just because I already put on like conditioning I mean conditioner on it it does help prevent my bags from color fading I mean I've been storing it for like months in my closet and it haven't faded any color so I don't see any reason to store them in a dust bag now if you go on years without using your handbag it's probably wiser to store it in a dust bag and just put it away somewhere but if you know you're going to use it use that handbag in the next few months why waste time putting in a dust bag while you can just sit it nicely as a display so yeah sorry guys a lot of rumbling going on uh, but that's just how I store my handbag and hopefully this help answer some of you guys question because I know some of you want to know how I store my handbag so that's how I store my handbag or like take care of my handbag oh so yeah that's it for my video guys thank you so much for watching and also want to keep you guys posted on my giveaway and my blog launching that's coming up in September 1st I'm trying to aim for that date yet like I'm still working on my blog I need to yeah I need and also I'm thinking about what would be the best giveaway I already have something in mind but yeah I want to put together a video about that so yeah stay tuned I'll keep you guys posted I'll talk to you guys later bye